a week or so of slightly too good and too much food is in most cases mostly harmful to your waistline. But with constant overeating and lack of exercise, you might just end up with type 2 diabetes. As Exodia, Lund University, in cooperation with Uppsala University, is trying to develop tools for preventing this disease and to come up with new successful treatments. I'm Leif Krop. I'm a professor in endocrinology at Lund University. And I'm also director of Lund University Diabetes Center and the new Exodia program. Diabetes both type 1 and type 2, but especially type 2, is really the result of collision between genes and the environment. It's nurture and nature. We're really prepared for a completely different environment with less food, more exercise. Type 2 diabetes is becoming more and more common all over the world, even in developing countries like India and China. In China, type 2 diabetes was almost unknown 20 years ago and the last figures was the 10% of the population. The situation in India is the same. If you go to Middle East, the countries where 30% of the population would have diabetes. So why does this happen so rapidly? Type 2 diabetes is a lifestyle-related disease. As the living standard in these countries increases, so does the disease. Genes have not changed during the last 30 years. But genes determine how we respond to the environment. And then the question, why is this increasing so much more in China, Asia and Middle East? It's because the change in the environment has happened so fast. We had better time to adjust to it here in Europe, although we are still I mean, suffering from it. During med school, I, I was not very I mean, excited about diabetes. I thought it was a dull disease and complicated. And it was just old people who got it. <laughs> so nothing interesting. But when I came to my first job, uh, we had a consultant. He thought that our way of treating diabetic patients really was not the best in the world. On the other hand, I, re I thought it's the same as everywhere in the world. Diabetes treatment was just bad. So I said I got mad and I decided I'm going to show him. And I'm still on that journey. 